We continue on the Domino's Post Game Report. Adam Cavalier joined courtside by Nick Brennigan. Nick, uh, you and your brother combined for 46. You chuck in Ryan Thomas into the mix. Yeah. 77 of Carson Newman's 87 points from three guys. Uh, what clicked offensively for this team today? I think it was definitely sharing the ball. We, it seemed like there was a great sense of trust out there today, and the ball found the open guy. I mean, BT made some good plays, tough shots, but other than that, it felt like we got really quality, really good quality shots. You and your brother, a combined 12 of 17 from beyond <laughs> the arc. Uh, a career-high seven made threes for Luke. He scored more than 23 uh, in the past, but it's his fifth career 20-point game. It's your third career 20-point game, but a career-high 23. Uh, break down the inside-out action that generated oodles of open looks from deep. Yeah, as we said, like, BT draws gravity. That's what we call it, gravity. So playing through him inside-out, you get really good shots. And, I mean, Tyler Bowens is a willing passer. Camden McElhaney, great passer. So we just played through our guys and trusted and happened to be me today. I, I think it's a, a little odd – uh, that you and Luke, I guess you do combine for seven. So many guys passed the ball today. Mm -hmm. You had five guys with three assists uh, as a team. What's that say top to bottom about this team's capability after being in the doldrums and being mired in offensive inconsistency yeah. for the last six weeks that you found it today by sharing the ball at a high level? Well, first, we made good decisions and we took care of the ball. That, that's been our biggest issue this semester. And we took care of the ball. We trusted. We made right plays. And we just found open guys. Just it, it felt it was a great win today. Uh, you kind of alluded to the turnovers. It's something that uh, has unfortunately been the hot topic yeah. in these post-game chats for the last really two weeks, especially. Uh, what was different about the the attitude? Uh, you pick what which direction. What was different about today compared to the previous two weeks, where you had four straight games with 18 turnovers? Well, going into this the prep for Wingate our practice scheme was a little bit different we we really put an emphasis on trying to pressure our guys to make us make mistakes to iron sharpens iron kind of that route so really getting into each other forcing turnovers in practice so you can iron those wrinkles out and then when it comes to a game it, it looks better how satisfying is that execution in the face of a pressure man that like Destin Clark, right. uh, Jaron Cottingham, elite defenders were sticking right. to you guys like blue all day long. Exactly. It, it just builds confidence. We we finally beat beat it. You know, we've had, we, like, as CB said earlier in the year, if you want to beat Carson Newman, you just pressure us. And today they pressure us, and we found, we found a way to nuke it and succeed from it. All right, turn your attention. Uh, big games ahead at home. And Ray and Henry Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, Coker Saturday still very much in the hunt for a spot right. in the SAC tournament. Uh, not entirely in control of right. your own destiny, but uh, it helps you to win out. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the attitude, the mentality down the stretch run uh, with two big ones ahead? Just take it day by day, uh, move on from this, take the good, take the bad, and then f move it towards Emory and Henry. They're a good basketball team, and they've been playing well this semester, so we have to lock in and focus and just take it game by game. Nick, thanks for the time. Congrats Thank you, on a career high 23. Thank you. Thank you. That is.